calm waters of the Illinois River on a hot summer day. A picture postcard of nature, but below is a dense, invasive population of fish playing eco-wars on the system. Aboard a research boat, this team of scientists and students is doing serious work studying the aggressive Asian carp and its effect on the native species in these waters. These are our, our electrodes that go in the water, and that's what creates the effect, sends the electricity in the water, and shocks fish and allows us to sample fish populations. Then, an eruption arises from the murky river. Dozens of flying silver fish. Some, weighing over 40 pounds, harpoon themselves into the air. Flopping. Bouncing. And slamming into anything in their path. I got you. Get him. Oh. Oh. Got the deal. <laughs> I got him. I'm still in shock. I can't believe uh, how they just launch and how, you know, they're affecting so much of the food chain here. These pictures look exciting, but in reality, this is dangerous, as many researchers and boaters have been injured by the blunt force, some experiencing broken bones. You just kind of got to man up and do the work. You can't be afraid of handling them. Uh, there's a lot, and you got to expect that, you know. Uh, they were imported from Asia to Arkansas in the late 70s to help control the water quality in plankton blooms and aquaculture ponds. Most of those aquaculture ponds are in the floodplain of the Mississippi River. So as the river flooded, the Asian carp got out of the aquaculture system and into the river, and uh, they've spread from there. Through a maze of river systems, they swam. The ravenous fish made their way north into Minnesota and Wisconsin. And now, as everybody knows, they're knocking on the door of the Great Lakes through the Chicago Sanitary Shipping Canal. That is a major problem and challenge for scientists. You see, the Asian carp gorge up to one-fifth of their body weight a day on plankton and tiny plants. Those are the basis for the food chain in the river. Uh, if they get into the Great Lakes and they start to disrupt the ecosystem in the Great Lakes, and that could affect potentially affect the seven billion dollar sport fishery that exists there. There are tens of thousands of Asian carp per river mile in this part of Illinois and there are as you can see they're jumping into the boat and there are numerous agencies trying to prevent them from making their way into the Great Lakes. The main measure of prevention is an electric barrier that is on the upper Illinois River. As they get close to the barrier they get stunned and it pushes them back down river. Government agencies have spent more than 150 million dollars on this technology, but some say that's not enough. Five states are suing the federal government to blockade the Illinois River Canal, but that would take years and billions of dollars. What is missing is smoking gun evidence that Asian carp will create long-term devastation on other fish. Whoa. Hold up, we're gonna try again. The research continues as the river system adapts. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Havana, Illinois.